What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about one of the most asked questions I get all the time. How do you actually start dropshipping as a beginner without wasting money, without getting stuck, and without failing in the first month? If you've been scrolling through TikTok or YouTube and you've seen people bragging about dropshipping, it can feel like this massive mystery. But the truth is, starting dropshipping in 2025 is way more straightforward than people make it out to be if you follow a few steps correctly. By the end of this, you'll know the exact process you can copy and start testing products this week. Shout out out to today's sponsor, Doba, one of the OG dropshipping platforms that's been around since 2002. If you're looking for a way to start dropshipping without stressing about finding legit suppliers, without holding inventory, and without dealing with long shipping times from random overseas suppliers, then Doba is literally built for you. So first things first, dropshipping is simple. You're basically acting as the middleman between a customer and a supplier. The customer buys a product from your online store at a retail price. You send that order to the supplier at a cheaper wholesale price. The supplier ships it directly to the customer and you keep the profit. No warehouses, no boxes piling up in your garage, no upfront inventory costs. That's why it's so appealing for beginners. But here's the catch. If you just jump in blind, you'll fail fast. Success in dropshipping comes down to three things. Choosing the right products, setting up your store correctly, and making sure your shipping times are reliable. When it comes to picking a winning product, this is honestly the make or break part. You could have the best website design in the world, but if your product sucks, you're done. You you want something that solves a problem, has impulse buy potential, sits in that sweet spot of being affordable but still profitable, and gives you at least a two to three times markup after cost. This is where Doba comes in clutch, across niches like home, pets, beauty, electronics, and outdoors. They even have top sellers and new arrivals lists built in. So instead of scrolling endlessly through TikTok trying to find a trend, you can just filter by category, see what's hot, and test it. Because their suppliers ship from the US, you're not stuck with 30-day shipping times. Customers actually get their products in a few days, which means less refund drama and way more repeat buyers. Once you've picked your product, you need a store. The easiest way is to just use Shopify. It's around $39 a month and worth every penny. The shortcut is that Doba integrates directly with Shopify, eBay, Amazon, and even TikTok shops, so you can import products with descriptions and photos automatically. No endless copy pasting or manual edits. You can still tweak the titles and images to make them look cleaner, but the heavy lift is already done. That's hours saved right from the start. Pricing is where beginners often overthink. Don't just slap on random numbers. As a rule of thumb, if a product costs you $10 on Doba, sell it for $29.99. If it costs you $20, price it at $49.99 to $59.99. That way, you cover your marketing costs, transaction fees, and still have profit left over. Dropshipping is all about margins. And since Doba shows you the wholesale price up front, you can adjust your store pricing and know exactly what your profit looks like. Now let's talk about fulfilling orders. When a customer pays you on Shopify, you don't want to spend your life manually ordering from a supplier and typing out their address. That's slow. With Doba, the order just syncs to your account. You pay the wholesale price with your card and the supplier ships it straight to the customer. Plus the inventory updates automatically so you don't oversell something that's out of stock. That automation is what allows you to actually scale instead of getting stuck in busy work. Of course, no store makes money without traffic, you've got to get eyeballs on your product. TikTok organic is probably the best free method for beginners. Just post daily videos showing the product, using trending sounds, and making it entertaining. If you have some budget, you can run TikTok or meta ads, even starting at $20 to $50 a day to see what hits. Another underrated way is reaching out to micro-influencers with 5,000 to 50,000 followers. Often, they'll promote your product for cheap or in exchange for a free product. The key here is testing. Don't fall in love with one product. If it doesn't work, move on. That's why Doba's huge catalog is such a lifesaver. You always have more options ready to go. Once you do find a product that works, that's when you scale. Run more ads, make new creatives, upsell your customers, build out your brand. This is where most beginners either quit too early or blow up. Remember, your first 10 products might flop. That's normal, but the one that works makes up for all of it. Here's the honest truth. The hardest part of dropshipping is dealing with unreliable suppliers, slow shipping, and inconsistent products. That's what kills beginners. Doba basically removes all of those headaches. You get vetted suppliers, products that ship from the U.S. in two to five days, automated inventory and orders, and no minimum order requirements so you can start small and scale. Plus, they've been around for over 20 years, so you know they're legit and not just some random new platform. So if you're serious about starting dropshipping this year and don't want to waste time with bad suppliers or customers waiting a month for their orders, check out Doba. I've dropped a link in the description where you can sign up and start browsing products today. Today. 
It's free to create an account and you can connect your store in just a few clicks. Start your dropshipping journey today with Doba because the best way to learn is by doing. That's it for today's video. If you found this helpful, drop a like, subscribe, and comment what niche you're starting with. I'll be replying to a bunch of you and maybe even reviewing some of your stores in a future video. Catch you in the next one.